Hey everybody, Dave from How Is Played here with another Pathfinder rule reminder for you. And today's topic is about the heal spell and whether or not the three action version of a heal spell will heal your enemies as well as your allies. And the answer to that is probably yes, it will. The three action version of the heal spell creates an emanation and all willing creatures within the range of that emanation are going to benefit from the healing spells effects. Now there is a, um, an asterisk to that, which is the word willing, and that's where all of the debate about this comes from, is what counts as willing, and who decides if a creature is willing, and what criteria has to be met to be willing. And I don't want to get too deep into all of that here for a simple rule reminder video, but it is my belief that the intent of adding that restriction of only willing creatures was to prevent one player from forcing healing upon another player at the table when that player does not wish to be healed. And that obviously creates the question of, of why would a, a player not want to be healed? And the answer to that is situations like a barbarian. There are some feats in the game, like the barbarian's reckless abandoned feat, that when a barbarian using this feat is below 50% health, they get bonuses in, in, in their, their, their combat abilities. They, they, they sacrifice defense for greater offense, but only when they are beneath 50% of their hit points. And so you could have a situation where a barbarian player wants to be below 50% of their hit points because they want to be using that reckless abandoned feat and they want to be doing greater damage. But uh, then another player uh, casts heal and it forces them to accept the healing and it puts them above 50% and then they lose that uh, reckless abandoned feat and uh, that impacts that player's enjoyment of the game. So I believe that is the specific example of what the designers are trying to avoid by allowing players to, to designate whether or not they want to be willing beneficiaries of healing magic. Um, there are other people out there who have a different opinion, and that opinion is that uh, in order to benefit from the heal, the enemies and NPCs um, have to know what the healing effect is before they can designate themselves as a willing beneficiary. So, for example, if you cast a heal using three actions, a creation emanation, maybe there are some goblins in, in that zone. Well, before the goblin can, um, can state whether or not they're willing, they have to identify that spell. Do they know what the spell effect is? Do they know that it's good magic? Do they know it's going to heal them? What, what skill check does that goblin have to make to identify the spell and the magic and then have a rational thought process of determining whether or not they want to accept the, the effects of the spell or if they want to resist the effects of the spell? I, I think, um, although that is a very valid interpretation and GMs are uh, within the right to rule that way, I think that's reading way too much into this and isn't what was intended. I, I really think that this was just simply a way to, uh, to avoid forcing healing upon a player who potentially does not want that. Uh, I think that, 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 that this reading of the rules is also supported by the existence of cleric feats such as selective energy. The selective energy feat can be used by clerics to ignore certain characters and creatures within the range of heal or harm and remove them from the effects of that spell. Um, and so the very existence of a feat like that I think strengthens the belief that yes, by default, uh, all creatures in the zone are assumed to be willing and would be uh, beneficiaries of the healing magic. That is it in a nutshell. Uh, heal, three actions, all willing creatures, which by default is everybody, in my opinion, unless a player says, please exclude me, uh, gets the benefits of that spell, unless you're using selective energy to, to uh, ignore certain creatures within that, that range. 
If you have any suggestions for future rule reminder topics, please let me know in the description. As always, I will leave links to relevant videos and other topics in the description as well. And as always, I want to make sure I thank all of my patrons and other folks out there who support me. If it's as simple as clicking that like button, subscribing, sharing these videos with your friends, uh, all of that adds up and I greatly appreciate everything the community does to support me in making these, these little videos. With that, thanks for watching, take care, and happy gaming.